Hello YouTube viewers, Jailbait here with another episode of Star Drive 2 as the Draylock Council. Our merchants and thieves are doing pretty good. Merchants and spies, I guess. Well, we're going to thieve too. And uh, we've got tons of money in the bank, which is what it should be. We got done with some exploration. We met this worthless race that we can't trade with or anything because they're stingy. And uh, yeah, so... In this episode, we are going to focus on a little bit of our spying. We got another defensive spy here. Hello. And you can see here, on the next turn, we are going to have 500 intelligence points, with which to steal some technology, hopefully. Um, these guys, did they have... Oh, we've got polyps here now. So, I know I saw something of theirs I wanted. I can't remember what it was. And trading with them is going to be a pain. So, I think we're just going to go in there and we're going to steal all their stuff. So, as we pump out more spies, we'll get some more spies going. Which will be fantastic. Alright. So, our guy was coming back here to refuel after running away from some pirates. And I think what we'll do is send him out to some of these stars next. Because we do have a bigger fuel supply. And Oh, and I was talking about making... That's right. I was talking about making a fuel ship for him. So there's that. Let's see. They've got the bank going next. Drelioc is just building up a ton of spies and there's a pelican so let's make yeah that's really large maybe we can make a um, let's go to the ship thing here maybe we can make a smaller fuel ship little frigate uh, it'll be dark. Okay, systems. Can we fit a cockpit? No, cockpit. Maybe. It'll be tiny. Uh, we need some engines. And then we want fuel cells. Let's fill that up there. We'll get some fuel cells going. And I don't think I'm going to put armor on it because that's not his job. Protobomb. Biological weapon. I forgot we built that. Um, don't need power capacitor. We just need to complete it. Okay. Should we throw on a sensor array? Maybe out here in the front? Yeah, sure. Why not? And then it's more fuel. Just fuel everywhere. We want fuel. Oh, it's too much. Alright. Alright, so we've got tons of fuel. Um, where's our sensors? Indicates the sensor detection range in AU of this ship on the strategy map. Increase your sensor range with command modules and sensor modules. So maybe... We throw more sensors on it so that it can really see out there far. I'm not sure. 
this will be um, will fuel barge <laughs> uh, let's look Explorer has one sensor and tons and tons of fuel Man, this thing already has a ton of fuel. And the sensor. Basic engine. You know what? I don't think we even need that. I think we just need to make another explorer and have them go out in doubles and that will give them even more sensor range I think and fuel capacity so let's do that okay uh, who's gonna build it Drilliok you're here this pelican oh man I don't know about the pelican I'm really kinda of frustrated with with how this turned out I thought that one pelican ship with three fighter bays would be a lot and able to take on some of our enemies but the fighters are pretty easily overcome and even with three bays it's only 12 fighters and I don't think you can like make more of them I think once you send out your 12 fighters they're done like they don't come back and resupply and replenish their numbers so I'm a little wary about the pelican for the moment um, where uh, I'm gonna have to go back and do the the roster no you can go away or you can be an explorer okay and then we're gonna build another explorer here and let's have you go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm going to have you build immediately. Because we're rich and we can do that kind of fun stuff when we're rich. It's like uh, Jordan Belfort says, I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. It's a good philosophy. All right. Where's our explorer? Just want you. You are going to come over here and meet up with this other explorer. And then you guys are going to have a dandy, dandy time. Okay. Now, the other thing I wasn't sure of is, yeah, it doesn't, like, tell us there. And it doesn't look like we gain extra. So you kind of have to watch your intelligence there. So smash and grab, no. We do want to embed an agent. Embed mole, yes. There we go. We've got a mole. Achievement unlocked. Mole, mole, mole. <laughs> so our first mole is there. And he is going to get us research at who knows. Let's find out how much he gets us. Uh. I can, I can, uh, Terrace calculates overall efficiency increased by exchanging goods of equal or lesser value for your pulse cannons technology. Adjust future relations based on Draylock response. So they're basically saying, give us this or we may, may not deal with you in the future. All right. Well, I want that. Jerks. Uh, orbital shipyard. Okay, man, they really have, like, poop in the way of technology. Aeroponic farms and solar... I don't like solar armor at all. So, 
I'd really like this, but that requires so much from us. No, that's dumb. Um, so we could give them one artifact. How does resources work? 50 turns. But that gives us, doesn't this give us, that gives us science. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to give them a colony. Ion beams, plasma fuel, can give them that. I don't know. We don't see we because we've been like at going after each technology in order. Um, we don't have any huge ones like they do here, and I think they value. Yeah, plus fifty percent. Although that should be the same because it's for both of us. Um, genocidal colonies worth a hundred percent of their normal valuation. Yeah. So they want this, and they have, like, nothing there. We could get a non-aggression pact. That's for both. Do you have resources? You have delicacies. Now that's not, that might not be bad, because this gives us... I think uh, happiness in our colonies or whatever. So maybe we do something like this where we get the aeroponic farm and delicacies. 660 to 675. Request exceeds. What are you talking about? Exceeds what? There's no exceed. Uh, do you want, like, money or something? I don't understand. Weird. I wonder if it's because there's two here and one here. Because if we give, we can give them a single payment of like one. Uh, that's bizarre. All right. Well, I think that's okay. Pulse cannons. Do I, I really don't know that I want to give them pulse cannons though. That's the other. That's the other question. Do we want to? Do we want them to have pulse cannons? Well, I think we're okay. Because if they get upset and want to come to war with us, plus three food to the colony. Hooray. Those are things that, oh, that's something we could build on Etho. Hey, Etho, what are you building? A star base? That's nice. Build an aeroponic farm. So that you can feed yourself and I can free up trade ships. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Back out. So we've embedded our first spy. And we're making three beakers per turn. We need more. We need more. That's okay. We're making tons of spies. We're going to just pump out spies. So that we have at least, I'd like to have at least three moles in every race. But the intelligence points is going to require us to make a lot more spies. So, once we get uh, Etho built up with their thing here, then we'll have more spies. Um, it was also pointed out that there's like a rich world right next to me uh, so 
Imperial Bank is building here. So why don't we queue up a colony ship? There. Look at our food surplus. Plus 12 income from that planet alone. Look at that. That is madness. Yeah. So we take away 7 income, but we gain some production. That's okay for now. Because I really want them to get through some of this stuff. Like building this bank. I think it shaved three turns off this bank. That's going to be good. Alright. So. Let us continue on. For a bit. Our scout ships have almost reached each other. That's lovely. In fact, they're close enough now that I want... Yes. So now you see their fuel is just huge. So I'm going to send them over here, and we're going to scout out these three stars here. Okay... Become better friends through trade. Will you trade us your aeroproduct farm technology? Maybe. Consider we just got it. Trade right treaties are 50% less. What do you have? Anything? Solar armor. Why do you have solar armor? It's so... Lame sauce. Give me a medium trade. No? Too much? 600. Can we buy that? Hey, hey, we want those credits. Okay, so medium trade is going to give us 16 per turn. That's 160 for 10, 20 turns to recoup this roundabout, 30 turn of profit. Thirty turns of profit. Because let's be honest guys, those technologies oh what's this? What is this? Protofill cash. I want to know. Whoops. What happened? Go back. Don't right click, guys. It takes you out of the window. Okay, what did you want? You wanted aeroponic farms. That's 900. Alright, so if we did this, we added some money. Oh, or we could give them maybe some technology that's poop. No. And we've got to be careful of our tolerance here. Oh, why did their tolerance go down? You refuse to trade with us 50 turns. Oh my gosh! Okay. Zero. Not cool. Right clicking kills that. Ten percent. Okay, well now we kind of have to do this, guys, because we need to get that back up. We're also probably going to need to, uh, not this. We need a good trade. And when this guy gets up to, what is it, 250, we're probably going to have to spread some propaganda with those guys. That was poop. 
Well, that's what these plays are for, right? So you guys don't make the same mistakes that I do. Because that was garbage. Let's just be honest. That was just garbage. Hostile fleets. Oh, great. More spies. Construction of automated rover bay on Lothar 3. Lothar 3. Okay. Alright, so we've got a spy. Where should we put him? Spy there, spy two there, one there. These guys I don't want to mess with just yet. Let's uh, continue our infiltration to the Opterus Hive. Uh, you built this. Are you building anything else? No, of course not. Why would you do something that matters? All right, so we've got that going. This provides the food. I'm thinking if we do this, that gives him the f some food that he doesn't have to deal with it. I like it. And then we probably need to put a star base there. So these worlds, like I didn't put one on, oh, what was the name of it? Drell 2? Yeah, Drell 2. I didn't. I haven't put a star base up here yet. I will eventually, but not yet, because it's in the same solar system as one we've already got a star base in. But on new systems, I think we should put a star base in, because they're so defensible. Uh, what do we have here? It looks like one schmuck. Okay. Um, I'm going to send this fleet up here just in case they decide to alter course and go there. And yeah, there we go. 40. Oh, because of our trade with Googlers. Are we at maximum ships? Trade. I think we have... What do we have going? We have trade there. Nothing with the Volfar. And trade there. Six. Oh, I think we were letting our... Um, tolerance ticked down a little bit because of poop. So if we go like so... No. I'm not done, you schmuck. Now these guys value... Yeah, look. They value... Sh uh ship technology quite a bit. That's not good. Fusion beam, pulse cannons. No. I think I'd rather them have fighter bays. Well, the particle streams do not create a self standing fusion. This is the thing we're going to use. The thing is, these guys have so many ships. I mean, they're swarms mentality, right? So giving them better weapons might not be the best idea. We could give them a bank. I can't imagine, because I think they're poor farmers, so I can't imagine the bank would actually help them out. Um... I've got that orbital ship here. See, they've got some pretty good stuff too, but those will be really expensive to 
to get. So let's give him a bank and let's give him maybe small trade rights. And then they can give us some. No, 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 no. No. Tolerance. Man, this, this tolerance thing is actually a very cool mechanic for trade. Because in, in previous Forex games, usually you can just stack up the trade to your benefit no matter how much uh, you want to throw in there. But this tolerance really makes things kind of a pain in the butt. I do want to keep a good trade going there, although I'm going to have to crank out some freighters. And we're only going to be able to give them one thing, so I think we're going to have to. So let's go ahead and give them fighter bays. They're already swarming anyway, so eh, what are fighters going to do? And as long as we have good point defense, the fighters shouldn't be that big a deal. Unless they have a bajillion of them, which they could do. But I think that's better than giving them an upgraded weapon. Um, can you give me money? No. Alright, that's fine. Foreign exchange. No. Alright, that's fine. I think we're giving a little bit of extra value, but to have a good trade is good. And remember, we're, we're really trying to placate these guys in the early game, because in the late game, our spies should be so numerous and so just everywhere in the galaxy, bringing us their technology, making them happy with us, that it should really be uh, kind of a mute issue at that point. So we're really playing passive and um, in this early game, which may be, a, I mean, we're still dealing with pirates, so there's still a little bit of action, but in the late game, I think, is where we're really going to see this uh, pay out because we've, we're still making tons of money. Um, I haven't even built the next six freighters that we need to build to get this going. So, speaking of, I think it was on Dreliok, our freighters got built, like, super quick. Yeah, so we need three freighter, freighter fleets. Yeah, like, 25. It's like two turns for each one. And nothing to rush build. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, let's, I'm going to push this spy to the back. Because we want to get these going as quick as possible. And I'm going to buy the first one. So we can get those freighters churning. And boom, we've already got profits a going. Yeah, see, now this bugger is going after my. Yeah, no chance. So, hopefully we get this before he kills my thing. Yes, okay. Now, we've never done an open space battle against pirates with our little pikes and stuff. So, hopefully they'll be enough. Um... It's against one tiny ship, so we should be okay. We've got how many pikes? I've got two pikes, so we'll set the pikes back. We'll set the scythe forward. So both of these guys, I want their engagement range out to maximum. And they're going to sit there, and then you... I want you just up close and personal. Alright, we'll begin. So first... What is their range? So it's right about there. Okay, so on both pikes, you're going to shoot at this guy as soon as he gets to the middle here. P 
The anticipation! There we go. And you go into... There go the missiles. So the missiles are going to outrange this guy. Should put some damage on him. Got some shots fired. Oh, and I wanted to look at this guy. So they are using laser beams. Alright, so I'm going to turn you. Oh, are your engines gone? Your engines are toast. So I'm going to turn him so that we have our armor to him. She wants you to come out here to behind him. And start shooting him again. And instead of moving, let's just stop you there and kill him. Boom! And there we go. Successful. Beauty. Silver ink. Double XP. Coin of defense. I love it. So, against the pirates, our pikes and whatnot should be fine. Although, I think in the next episode, we will look at designing those pulse ships. Because our main engineering should be done by then. And I want to use that on there to see if that helps. Uh, these guys will go ahead and send them back here. And then our scouts are ready to go explore. So, I think that will do it for this episode, guys. But uh, we've got trade coming in by the bucket loads. We're up over 10. We're at 14 trade transports that we're using. So good. Alright, so... Hope you enjoyed the episode. I uh, appreciate all your comments, all your likes. Continue to do it. Uh, leave the like if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. And uh, if you feel like it, subscribe. And I'll keep putting these videos out for you. Uh, keep giving me your suggestions in the comments, and I will keep putting them into effect, uh, if at all possible, or at some point in the future. So until next time, live free, game hard.